everyone and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Beauties, today I'm going to be doing this decorative garden bench. So if you want to see how I do this, then please keep watching. Okay, for this project, I'm going to be using some of these zip ties and it is the ones that are a little bit thicker. I'm also going to use two of these garden trellis. And I'm also going to use some of these garden fences. These are garden fences that I'm going to reuse. I had done a DIY with these and it was a wrought iron wall decor. I'll go ahead and link the video up above so that you can see that. But since I like changing things around, I decided now to use these and repurpose these for this next DIY. So I'm going to be using three of them. As you can see, they've been painted. I'm going to repaint them so they're not going to stay like this. And I'm also going to use some scissors. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this DIY. Okay, so let me start with the trellises. These are going to serve as the backside for the bench. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip tie them together. Okay, so the way that I started was by laying them against the wall so that I could get a good visual of them. I used the garden fence to determine the width I was going to need for the backside trellis. I do have to say that it was a little bit challenging. Once I was pretty comfortable in how I had spaced them out, I started to zip tie them. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off these stakes that these garden fences have and I'm just going to kind of bend them a little bit just to soften them up and then I'll go ahead and use my scissors. So I'm just going to move them back and forth until they're pretty soft and I'm able to cut the stakes off. And it just comes right off. And I'm also going to remove these other two as well. And then I'm just going to remove whatever remainder plastic is still sticking out. Okay, now I've removed all my stakes. And I'm going to turn it around this way. Now I'm going to start adding my zip ties to the back side of the bench this way. Now for the second garden fence, I'm going to cut the round scallops so that it can fit under the bench seat. Starting right here, I'm going to cut this off and just continue all the way across until all the scallops are gone. Right there. And here I'm just showing you that I'm just going to continue straight across. Okay, here I'm just showing you how it's going to go under the seat. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zip tie them together. I also want you to note that this is not very sturdy. This is merely just a decoration and that is all that it is. Now, I just want to show you that I've put zip ties here and here 
all right in here. And I basically just went under the seat. I was able to go underneath and just snap it in there as you can see right there. And then I just zip tied it. I zip tied the back. And then here at the top, just to hold the two trellises together. Okay, now that it's all put together, I just wanna show you that it does move around. It does need to be against the wall. If not, it will go toppling forward. Okay, now I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna spray paint it and then I'll show you how it looks afterwards. And here is my bench. It's already finished. The paint is already dry. And I decided to put these little potted succulents that I had inside my home. I decided to display them out here on the bench. I thought that it looked really pretty. And here is the bench and this is how it looks in my front entrance. I thought it would look really nice and it would just give my home entrance just a warm touch. Well beauties, that is it for this Dollar Tree DIY. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also share. I'd really appreciate it. You have yourself a blessed day and I will see you on my next video. So bye bye and God bless.